Today's video will be focused on percent of change. A percent of change is a ratio that compares the change in quantity to the original amount. So you can see the equation below. Percent of change is equal to the amount of change divided by the original amount. Let's take a look at this first example. I can find the percent of increase. So the four steps are at the bottom. Step one, determine the amount of change using subtraction. The problem reads 20 yards to 25 yards. In order to determine the amount of change, we will subtract and 25 minus 20 equals five. We can then put a five in as the numerator because this represents the amount of change. Step two is to write the original amount in the ratio. The original amount is the amount given to us first. So the original amount will be 20. We can put 20 as the denominator because this represents the original amount. Step three, divide the numerator by the denominator. Five divided by 20 equals 0 0.25. And the final step, convert the decimal to a percentage. We can convert a decimal to a percentage by multiplying by 100 and then adding a percent sign. And since the first value is smaller than the second value, we know that this will be an increase. So the final solution is a 25% increase. This next example is going to focus on a percent of decrease. So we'll start with step one. Step one is to determine the amount of change using subtraction. And our problem reads $160 to $40. So in order to find the amount of change, we are gonna take 160 and subtract 40, which is equal to 120. We can then put this 120 as the numerator because it is the amount of change. The second step is to write the original amount in the ratio. The first value given to us is 160. So the original amount will be 160. We can place this number in the denominator because it represents the original amount. Step three is to divide the numerator by the denominator. 120 divided by 160 is equal to 0 0.75. And the final step, convert the decimal to a percentage. 0 0.75 times 100 is equal to 75. And then the last thing to do is add a percent sign. Since the first value is larger than the new value, we know that this is going to be a percent decrease. So the final solution is 75% decrease. I have one I want you to try now. So pause the video, use the equation, and find the percent of change. When you're ready to see if your answer is correct, you can hit resume. Let's check out that solution. After completing the four steps, we can see that A, 87.5% increase is the correct solution. I want you to try one more example with percent of decrease. Pause the video and solve. When you're ready to see if your answer is correct, you can hit resume. Let's check out that answer. After doing all four steps, we can see that B, 80% decrease, is the correct solution.